Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ed here from Everfaster Racing. Welcome back to another racing video on F1 2019. So today is the next episode of our F1 online antics. So this is what I recorded yesterday and here we are in Ferrari F2004, first place in Austria and this is going to be going to be one of the most dominant win, like probably the most dominant like kind of weekend I've um, had in this car. So this is the first race I did in the F2004 and not really many people had it actually. I don't think they'd figured out that the F2004 was the fastest uh, classic car. Uh, in which case it is like because uh, most people go for like the modern ones, so like the Red Bull or the Braun. Uh, but no, this is actually the fastest car, the F2004. Uh, so yeah, so I went on to uh, yeah completely dominate this race. Uh, I think I had the fastest lap. I got pole as well. Uh, so yeah, I got the fastest lap and the race win. So uh, yeah, this was my first lap. As you can see, set the fastest lap there. And then, uh, yeah, we would go on to get a dominant win. Not really anyone disturbed us um, because we were so far away. So, uh, yeah, definitely one of my uh, best wins. Got a load of, like, points for it as well because uh, there's, like, the ranking system you have. I think I'm on, like, level 11 or 12, I think. Uh, so, yeah, this is a good start to our F1 Online Antics series. Uh, but I can assure you it, it doesn't get better um, in this video, unfortunately. Uh, but that is more of that to come now. Um, as we say, uh, we're on the last lap now, and we still hold the, uh, the fastest lap. I've been uh, getting better at this car, especially at other tracks. I'm used to it being at Belgium, uh, but yeah, I've decided to go with a few other tracks as well. And it's actually really good in Austria, um, actually. So, um, yeah, I, so uh, basically the next race after this, pretty much everyone had the F2004, and that was Germany. I didn't actually record that one. It wasn't the uh, most interesting of races, uh, but the one after that is the one I did record, and that was pretty interesting, I'd say. Um, and yeah, and also we've got a clip from Monaco as well. Quite a rarity um, in F1 Online where you go to Monaco. But I can assure you that is um, my probably most hilarious clip there. So that is the end of our race at Austria. Now we get on to the Brazil race. And now this is uh, this is one little bit controversial, I'd say. So yeah, yeah, a lot of people just jump the start as well. That's normal. You see that. Uh, but they'd get penalties. With the superior F2004, we managed to get a good lead going. I did start like P16. I didn't. I messed up qualifying pretty much. And we completely shunted to many cars um, into this. Um, so yeah, we still um, are a little bit quick though. So uh, yeah, uh, luckily the front wing isn't too badly damaged. You can see uh, one of the McLarens there going off. So yeah, it's not really gone well for him. We've got cautions as well. I've not really... I'm trying to take these corners quite carefully on the first lap just in case as we get past the Williams there. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few F2004s ahead of us. As I said, pretty much everyone picked these. And then I think there's a Renault in the mix as well. But hopefully we should be able to get past him quite easily. Uh, but it is the first lap. So that's probably not going to be the case. I'm just trying to pick out where to go now. As you can see, the two people... Oh, I've been hit off as well by the Renault. Uh, just kind of expected that. But luckily my front wing is like... Um, yeah, my front wing is pretty much damaged now. As one of my teammates just spins in front of me. I say teammates. I mean someone from a, a separate guard. I mean I'll have about half the field as my teammates. So, uh, yeah, that's another place gained, I guess. So we're up to P7 now. So that's quite a good gain. And our uh, front wing is a minor damage, I'd say. Uh, but not too bad. I probably should have pit, though, to be honest. I mean, I was thinking about it. Uh, but uh, five lap I mean, it's not the, uh, the most laps that I've done. Um, if it was like probably a 25% race, I definitely would have pitted, though. So, moving on further into the race now, we've got a little bit of interesting coming up, and I, um, yeah, one of the guys there kind of scared me, I slammed on the brakes at this point, and then he kind of ghosted, so I was like, oh, okay then. Uh, so, yeah, so basically the ghosting system, I never know when it's going to work or not, either it does or it doesn't, and when it doesn't, it's very bad, so, um, yeah, I just kind of take it um, on the easier side, I think. Uh, so then we've got um, another um, kind of incident here, this is lap three. And then there's this guy behind me who's definitely quicker than me. So I was going to let him pass, but I did want to fight him a little bit here. So we go up the inside then, and he just nudges us a little bit. So um, not the cleanest overtake, I'd say. But to be honest, he was going to do it. So uh, yeah, they were going to do it. So I'm going to just uh, hand that one to, to them. And uh, yeah, so we're going to continue on with our race now. Then we have what I see is like one of the worst drivers in online. Just don't, please don't be this driver. Um, you'll see a, a, quite a compilation of what they've done uh, in a bit. But uh, yeah, this really isn't the best scenario, really. So we're on lap four. Uh, so we're near the end of the race. We're in P7, just got overtaken by two of the cars. 
so yeah, not really the best. We've got lo lots of loss of downforce as well, which isn't very good at Brazil. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to try and get past some of these cars here. Um, all of them have 2004s as well. Uh, so, yeah, I think the, uh, the driver ahead of me is slower. So I go for a little bit of a dive bomb into this corner, which uh, ends up working. And then we come across the driver, and look at this. Ju just puts me off completely. Almost uh, does it, actually, because I managed to uh, just about catch it. Now, we get dive bombed by um, one of the other drivers. And then I kind of send these two drivers ahead of me. Just to uh, kind of scope this uh, this other driver out in the Red Bull. Uh, so yeah, I think um, also that driver I'm pretty sure is a little bit slower, so I get past it. And then look at this! It just com it, they completely take out and then take me out, take all my front wing out, which it's it's really not um, good. I mean, we're kind of stuck together here. It's not the best. Uh, so I'm I'm pretty sure they got a lot of penalty points uh, for this. Uh, but then this this is what happens. Look, as I'm just driving along, brake tests me. Puts me into the wall, and then I retire. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just a little note, guys. Please don't be this driver, okay? Online. Just, if you like this, stick to single player. So, here's the last race I'm going to show you. And this is the Monaco Grand Prix here. Or five laps of it, at least. Uh, let's see how many laps we last. Um, so, uh, yeah. We go ahead for the start. It's quite a decent start, actually. Uh, we don't get overtaken too much. And then just look at the car in front of the McLaren. And, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, I'm not really quite sure what happened there. Real wheel tyre failure? I'm not quite sure. Uh, so, yeah, I kind of take a decision here to, like, ghost so everyone else can go past. Uh, quite a sensible decision, I thought. Uh, everyone else pro should probably do that. I've got one of the racing points there. In a little bit of trouble. So, uh, yeah, our front wing is a little bit broken, which obviously is terrible around Monaco. Uh, but it's not too bad. Not enough to pit, anyway. So, uh, yeah, we could just come through the casino square. Now, lots of debris um, you can, you'll can you be able to see. Uh, just behind one of the Red Bulls now. And then uh, coming into the Grand Hotel hairpin, we've got yellow flags. And, yeah, everyone's just stopped here. There's a Renault there. Um, and then we do get past the Red Bull, actually. So that's good. And then we're coming into Portier. And uh, there's too much going on here. And then we come into the tunnel quite straight. But there's still bits of debris on the road, though. So, obviously, it's not really going well. And then we come into the Novo Chicane here. And then everyone is uh, just piling up here. We almost, uh, we just about don't hit the back of the cloud now. And then we just get taken out, uh, our front wing taken out by one of the Renaults just parked at the side there. Somehow I get a two second penalty as well. There's a Ferrari there. And then a Mercedes that doesn't know what it's doing. And then uh, the McLaren spinning. And then I could just get taken out by one of the other Mercedes. And that is how Monaco usually goes for me. So, yeah, that's going to be enough for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. And also comment down below what video you'd like to see next. So that's been enough from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.